The Incredible Adventures of the Golden Monk Beyond the Temple Walls A long time ago, in ancient China, a demon flood entered the human realm after the door to hell was breached. In order to keep his family safe from harm, a wealthy merchant chooses to employ formidable demon slayers. As opposed to the other hunters who are merely acting, a mercenary by the name of Jade starts to feel an outside presence. As she hurls her weapon in the direction of the door, she discovers that a monk has arrived, must also defeat the monster. When the man poses as Tong and tries to win the girl over with flattery, Jade is only interested in finding the location of the true monster. The demon hunters are trying to use their magic to suppress the enemy when, all of a sudden, the bells start to ring and the floor blows open. The leader screams in terror as more bones are spit out towards them as they try to subdue the monster, but the soldiers are immediately pulled into the hole. The demon spits out its enormous tentacle at Tong and pulls him beneath while it chases the hunters underground, making them flee instantly. The demon slayers bolt from the building and try to fight the beast again, but are quickly overpowered by its massive arm and have to retreat like cowards. Everyone escapes for their lives as the entire city begins to sink and there are tremors everywhere. The creature collapses all the surrounding buildings and leaves enormous fissures in the ground, causing significant harm in the region. When the demon hunters reach a bridge, the leader tries to make one last charge. While the enormous thing moves at them from within the ocean, he works his spell. Swiftly emerging from the water, the demon shows that Tong is still alive before lunging in the direction of the hunters and consuming the leader in a single bite. As it attempts to consume every person fleeing, the monster slams into the surrounding buildings and crashes onto the ground. The opponent is far too strong though, as it pushes Tong to the ground after he manages to cling onto it and makes a valiant effort to control the beast. Jade enters the area at the same moment as her friend, telling him to ambush the creature from behind while she targets its eyes. The creature sucks the humans in like a gigantic Pac-Man, growling at them. As Tong attempts to intervene, the girl's arrow strikes him in the back, causing him to tumble to the ground with the civilian. Tong is in misery as the old lady strikes him on the face for appearing like a simp. With poison arrows that land squarely in the monster's eye, the female hunters are able to attack and bring down the behemoth. The enormous demon finally succumbs to the ambush, cries in agony, and descends toward the earth. The woman attempts to sever the creature's back, but Tong leaps to her defense, pushing her away from the beast and shielding her from the poison blood of the demon. As Tong breaks the fall by, face planting on the human pillows and receiving a slap in the process, the liquids shoot onto the merchant and instantly start to burn him. Along with her partner, Jade climbs the beast once more and removes its spine like a valuable trophy. Tong approaches the demon and recites an incantation, causing the creature to disintegrate into dust, leaving only skeletal remnants. The following day, the woman returns to her remote dwelling far from urban areas, diligently extracting the essence from the spine using her intricate apparatus. Unbeknownst to many, she has spent countless years in search of her soulmate's reincarnation, and she is now only lacking a solitary ingredient to finalize her mystical endeavor. Jade soon reveals that her queen assigned her to watch over the tree of immortality and gather its fruits when they were ready. She was once a goddess from heaven. The woman swiftly recognizes Tong as her soulmate, and the two give each other a quick embrace and passionate kiss. They fail to see that the fruit on the tree has been dropping for the entire time, and it was already too late when they realized their error. The queen is enraged at the lovers for ruining her ritual, and all the gods and goddesses are gathered around the scene. The goddess decided to punish the deities for their negligence because they were supposed to eat the fruits, which grow just once every 3,000 years. The man gradually descends from heaven and reincarnates into a stranger as she forces Tong to drink the water of forgetfulness and casts him out into the realm of humans. But the woman declines, and as she leaps from heaven, she forgets about her soul partner. Without losing her memories, but she is doomed to live a lifetime without knowing who her true love is. The woman is compelled to live alone during her innumerable reincarnations since she will never be able to see her soulmate, even if they are rivals who have attempted to murder one another in combat. It is now, after all these years of agony, that she may perhaps find her true love. Later that evening, Tong, wandering through the forest by himself, saw a group of people right away. A lot of stunning women are riding in the carriages of those going in the opposite direction. He sees right away that the visitors are demons posing as humans and the women come to understand that the monk is incredibly strong and has a golden aura all around him. The man's appearance draws the attention of a stunning girl wearing a green dress, who instantly recalls her previous interaction with the monk. As it happens, Tong once vanquished a formidable dragon and succeeded in trapping it beneath the Buddha statue. However, one of the dragon's offspring managed to flee before the beast turned stone. 
Upon noticing this, the guy chooses to spare the snake by removing the demon from the region and giving it freedom, rather than murdering it. After all these years, the woman is astonished to meet her hero and knows she owes him her life. After a while, the demons reach a big palace where they are, welcomed by their father, the dragon. Lord, and he wants to know if their strategy worked. It turns out that their goal in trying to woo the emperor with their beauty was to eventually subjugate him and enslave all of humanity. However, a powerful spirit drove the girls away as they tried to poison the monarch, feeling the evil auras around them. The dragon demon understands that they must alter their strategy as they require a human girl to entice the emperor and give him the poison so they may take control of his thoughts. All of the demons transform into their actual forms, exposing themselves as terrifying beings, as they intend to consume the defenseless kids in order to preserve their immortality. The following day, the monks smash their swords into bits because Tong's head is like a porcupine and his masters are trying to cut off his hair as if he owes them money. Tong wonders why he's destined to never complete his monastic training, while Kong, one of his instructors, believes that his suffering is a result of having angered the heavens in a past incarnation. As he attempts to persuade the man to offer prayers to the gods, all of the statues turn their backs on the protagonist, expressing their displeasure with him and further confusing him. When he prays to the goddess of mercy, Guanin, the only one who responds is the goddess. Returned, informing the man that the only way to discover the truth is to slay a one-eyed demon. Concerning his past, the head of the monastery rushes inside and discovers that all the sculptures are turned around before the man can comprehend the goddess's prophecy. He soon learned that Tong was the one who had desecrated his temple, and as a response, all of the monks seized hold of him and severely beat him. He demands to know who was behind it. It turns out that the wealthy woman who paid the monks is praying for a son. She is enraged that the people are interfering with her ritual and has her henchmen punishing the master. The troops charge, Kong and give him a violent blow to the head, shooting a bright light out of his skull. The monk suddenly turns into a massive monster that towers above everyone as the clouds start to gather and blast intense lightning at him. The beast kicks the soldiers aside like rag dolls and roars violently at the civilians. Then, like an insect, the creature snatches hold of the monk's leader and throws him through the roof. Tong is shocked to know that his teacher has become a demon, but the old man clarifies that he is actually the heavenly brother of the main character, reincarnated. He could no longer bear to see the man's suffering, so he entered the human race to aid his friend. The creature clings to the monk's skull and shows him memories of his past, telling him that he once had a soulmate who was punished by the gods. Tong comes to the realization that he was doomed to be unaware of his lover's reincarnation. When his lord assumes the human shape once more, Tong is reminded by the elderly man that in order to discover the real identity of his soulmate, he must defeat the one-eyed demon as the goddess of mercy has instructed. They are unaware that since his master changed into a gigantic monster, the dragon demon has noticed Tong's presence. Since the main character is accused of imprisoning the evil lord inside the Buddha statue for a millennium, the evil lord instantly knows the monk. He knows that Tong is not at his maximum power, so he intends to exact revenge on the man. He commands his daughters to apprehend the man's lover in order to carry out his evil scheme after being expelled from heaven. The serpent demon, however, is obviously torn over her father's commands because she finds it hard to hurt her savior. A little while later, the angry mustache, a well-known warrior, makes her way to a little village where she intends to stop by the restaurant, which is, coincidentally, owned by the monk, to get something to eat. The fact that the main character is an imposter is quickly revealed, as he is unable to prepare any of the cuisine offered on the menu. The mother becomes enraged and starts to change into the Hulk as a result, but before they can finish arguing, sticky liquids fall upon the girl's face. Shocked, they turn to face the ceiling to discover a monstrous creature peering at them through the roof. The creature snatches hold of one of the warriors and rips her to ribbons. The Cyclops roar angrily at the humans as the people flee the building right away and starts wreaking devastation over the entire community. While the demon is busy killing the troops, Jade arrives to take the creatures in order her friend to ambush the monster from below. Fortunately, the hunter is able to temporarily incapacitate the beast, allowing the people to launch an attack before the creature latches onto the warriors and devours them like nibbles. Jade immediately steps in to block the angry mustache's attack because she needs the enemy's eye, but the angry mustache charges in and starts wielding her swords to blind the monster. The Cyclops is about to eat the warrior with its enormous jaws when it captures him, drawn in by the beauty of the woman. Luckily, the people get there in time to save her from being kicked away by the enormous thing. Tong dives in fast to catch the woman before she falls, trying to save her, but soon find themselves repulsed by one another's looks. 
Meanwhile, Jade charges in to face the monster head-on, but Tonk stops her just in time from getting ensnared by the massive thing. The beast throws the guy into the air where he lands on the sharp rocks and sacrifices his family jewels. The man uses the porcupine's hair to free himself. The Cyclops promptly flee the scene as the people do, following closely after, compelling them to flee their adversary by jumping into a ditch. They start tugging the main character back onto the ropes as they fling him away like an enraged bird and Jade gets the notion to use the man like an arrow. After noticing the hair of the monk, with lightning speed, Tong flies in the direction of the monster, piercing its body through and instantly killing the adversary as it falls to the ground. As the others look on in disgust, Jade approaches the Cyclops and removes the enormous eye from its head and the woman returns home with the organ. As the hunters assist the huntress in killing the monster, they accompany her back to her hiding place, where Jade extends an invitation for them to spend the night. The moment she adds the last ingredient to her contraption, the woman's eye releases all of her memories into space and reveals the true form of her beloved. Seeing all the projections when he goes in simultaneously, Tong realizes that the woman in front of him is the one he has been waiting for all along. After being separated by the gods for a millennium, the two finally embrace and exchange tender glances. But before they know it, the dragon demon, who has come with his daughters to exact revenge on the monk, interrupts them. Tong had to push his sweetheart aside in order to repel the demon's magic as soon as the enemy assaulted them. When the mustache warrior notices this, she tries to assist by joining the fight against the daughters. Because the opponents are evenly matched, she is able to repel them. While the second adversary throws multiple webs at the warrior, the woman attempts to pursue the cat demon using her blade like a skateboard. As the monsters fly toward the structure, she is able to pick them out and corner them onto a bridge. The warrior throws all of her swords into the air and swings them in the direction of the monster. The devil struggles to avoid the blows, but ultimately one hits it and it hits the ground. As Jade's friend lunges at the enemy, Tong fights the Dragon King once again. However, Tong loses the battle soon when she is punched across the room. When the monk attempts to fight the opponent alone, the enemy's magic stops him, propels him into the wall, and sends him, crashing to the ground. When Jade notices this, she instantly strikes back, but the dragon demon also wins the battle with just one blow. The wicked lord enters the bridge as the woman unleashes all of her blades on the enemy only to find that the mustache warrior has killed one of his daughters. The girl is killed as the demon instantly halts the strike in midair and deflects all of the swords back towards her, repeatedly slicing into her stomach. As the dragon demon steps on Tong's chest and stabs him with his claws, the spider monster grabs hold of him and pulls him outside the structure. Without any delay, Jade runs outside and pleads with the enemy to spare the man's life, promising to do anything in exchange. The lady obeys the demon's demands after the dragon lord gives her a poisonous bug to swallow, warning her daughter that if she doesn't, the parasite will begin to devour her from the inside out. The demon claims she is now his, and he laughs hysterically as he departs, leaving his daughters behind and the monk to languish on the ground. Jade dances in front of the king and is compelled to enter the palace. She soon seduces him, and he takes her as a concubine. Tong's master is trying to ease his pain as he suffers from his wounds, but it's not having much of an impact because the man is already losing consciousness. Remarkably, the serpent demon enters the temple after the old man has left and chooses to remove the spiritual energy intended for her father. To get the man to stop her father from hurting anyone else, she puts her essence into his mouth and tells him where his sweetheart is. The guy soon perceives the voice of the goddess of mercy and he approaches her statue to hear her words of wisdom. The god informs him that, in order to beat the dragon, he needs to get his powers back. And to further perplex the monk, the only way to accomplish that is to obtain a loved one's breath. The king is getting ready to work out before bed with his new concubine on the other side. From behind his enchanted glass, the dragon lord observes everything. The emperor is told to close his eyes by the woman who then starts to spit a mind control gadget into the air. However, the girl had a change of heart and betrayed the dragon before poisoning the king. Lord, by disclosing all the details of the plot to the emperor. This significantly enrages the demon who then starts banging on the drums to awaken the insect within the woman and cause excruciating pain as it eats away at her body. Due to Jade revealing their identities, the spider demon rushes into the palace with the intention of killing the king herself. However, a large number of troops rush in and encircle the creature. As she uses her claws to knock everyone down, the demon strikes the humans right away and throws them into one another, ultimately defeating them all. In an instant, the Dragon Lord is forced to drop his drums and take to the skies while the whole army charges toward the structure in an attempt to save their monarch. 
As he conjures all of his powers against mankind, the man crashes into the ground, throwing the soldier skyward and reducing the entire army to dust. As all of this is going on, the spider demon latches onto the king. However, Tong and his master arrive to save the emperor just before she can kill the man. As Tong draws his blade and strikes the demon against the walls, the monster turns its attention to the monk. The opponent retaliates by launching her webs at the guy, but Tong uses his sword to deflect the onslaught and tosses everything back, severing the creature into a million pieces. As the dragon demon bursts through the door, he discovers Tong's master has changed into the enormous beast once more, but the opponent's tremendous might swiftly knocks the elderly man out. When Tong gets the chance, he runs towards Jade and tries to steal his lover's breath so that he can take back control, but no matter how many times he kisses her, this doesn't work. Seeing that he has no other option except to flee with the girl and reach the battlefield, he discovers that the demon is overwhelming his lord. Tong gathers all his strength and tries to step in, but the enemy's overwhelming strength pushes him back right away. The demon effortlessly tears off the man's tail as he latches onto the giant and tosses him to the ground. The woman rushes in to assist as well, but she is obviously no match for her adversary since she is knocked into the pillars, severely injuring herself. When Tong's master tries to attack the demon once more, the dragon lord easily vanquishes him by striking him like a rag doll, which results in his death. The demon starts to bleed heavily as soon as he understands that the elderly guy was able to harm him, though. He screams in rage as he rushes to his daughter in hopes that her spiritual energy can cure his wounds, only to discover that it has already been handed to his opponent. Conversely, the lady assures Tong that she will find him in her next life, even if she dies slowly in his arms as he clings to her. Before Jade finally dies away, the two kiss one last time, which makes him cry. With sorrow, as a golden glow envelopes him and restores all of his abilities. At last, he realizes that what he wanted was not just any breath, but the last breath of the person he loved. The Dragon King turns into a gigantic dragon and starts to change into his real form. When the Snake Demon notices this, it makes a last-ditch attempt to flee, but is soon eaten by her father, who uses out the last of her life energy. Abruptly, as the main character transforms, enormous volumes of energy smash into him, transforming into the Golden Warrior and summoning vast quantities of aura in the heavens. The flying dragon is encircling the monk, but Tong begins to clone himself and tosses several warriors onto the enemy's body in an attempt to drive the demon away. He then gives the order for all of his clones to unite as they flee the opponent's flames, gradually transforming into a gigantic golden dragon with a ferocious roar toward the adversary. Attacking the enormous monster, head-on, Tong is able to seize hold of its neck. The demon crashes to the ground as he unleashes a powerful throw that breaks the enemy. But there's more battle to be won as the main character gets bitten by the red dragon during its counterattack. When the golden dragon is smashed to the ground, the demon slashes the beast to pieces, which makes it scream in agony, but Tong starts to change again and is able to recover fast. As the clones combine this time, the primary character transforms into a gigantic warrior, transformed into an enormous body prepared to face its foe. The two leap into the air as the red demon charges towards the enormous fighter, but Tong is able to smash the adversary to the ground. As the opponent reassembles himself, the golden warrior gathers up all of his energy and punches the thing directly in the mouth, killing it. After ultimately vanquishing the dragon and exacting revenge on his buddies, the main character lands on the ground and transforms back into a human. He instantly rushes in Jade's direction, but before he knows it, her body is dissolving into dust and she vanishes in front of him. When the Goddess of Mercy eventually appears to the guy and offers him the chance to return to heaven, Tong declines, understanding that he is doomed to never see his beloved again. To ensure that the guy will always be with his soul partner, the deity changes Jade's spirit into a bird out of sorrow for his loss. Along with the soul of his beloved, the man praises the Goddess for her kindness and sets off on his journey once more to save all people from evil. What are your thoughts on this film, guys? Tell me in the comments section below. In addition, if you enjoy my films, please subscribe and like them. See you soon in the next video. Take care and bye now.